Ass chicks who paint them pretty ass lips. For them trap boys out doubling up on bricks. For musicians like myself that was blessed with a grips. The rap of the pack and see what it is. Swerve with the traffic like I lost control of the whip. Hurt the competition like I ran over these bricks. Double lines mean nothing when you're hugging the bridge. My fault, ladies and gentlemen. I had technical difficulties. My bad, my bad. I, that top went right off on me. Like, like I said, uh, welcome to Talk US Tuesday. It's your boy Dennis Holmes. I'm here with my man Ron Thomas. Also got some special guests in the building. Sharon <laughs> Mullen, Miss Chocolate Girl. I got Rashawn Maestro Jackson, a.k.a. Tom Rashawn in the building. And we also got Pylon of Pylon is in the building. Jared Mullen and uh, Jared Mullen. And we also got Eric Winters in the house. How's everybody doing today? Good, man. Doing good, yeah. Hey, yo. Yo, 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 how y'all feeling? Yeah. Okay, we good. All right. Uh, Jared, hold on for a second, Jared. I can't really do nothing right now, but... I keep... Uh, I'm hearing an echo. Can you hear me? I'm hearing a, I can hear you. I'm hearing an echo, though. All uh, right. I'm about to leave out of here. My laptop just popped back up. Uh, Ron, can we get one of your hot topics real quick? Um, give me three football teams under underdogs. We have a good record and make make it to the playoff playoff this year. I got the Atlanta Falcons ten and six. The Giants eight and eight and Denver ten and six. Okay, now say that question one more time, Brian. I'm sorry, I had an echo in my ear, so I couldn't. Give me three football teams is underdogs will have (laughs) a good record and make it to the playoff this year. Okay. Is it my turn? You want me to go? Yeah. You want me to go? Yeah. Um, I I, I don't know what their record is going to be, but I I believe I believe that the Cowboys are going to do better than what people think they're going to do. And then I also go ahead. I like the way you starting this up. I like the way you starting this up, Sean. Well, I think that they're going to do better. I, I okay. I spent a lot of time listening to a lot of football shows and people talking about the uncertainty of Dak Prescott. And because of Dak Prescott, they 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 don't have as much confidence in the Cowboys finishing well. And they've been predicted to go like eight and eight, eight and eight, which is their classic, you know, their classic results, eight and eight. And I believe that they would actually do better than that. Um, I believe that they're going to challenge for their division. I'm not sure if they're going to win it, but I believe they're going to challenge for their division. So, I mean, even though the Cowboys are the Cowboys, um, I do feel like they are an underdog for that reason. And that they may do better than what people say. I got the Giants going eight and eight this year. And maybe the playoffs. I think I agree with you on the Giants going about eight and eight. Um, I'm not a believer in the quarterback, but I believe because of other things that are in place, he mm-hmm. might actually make it to an eight and eight season. I, I think it just hurt y'all feelings just to even say Philly. Um, well, he said a team that didn't go. That team, did not go. Oh, okay. Well, I he, missed, he's I missed saying that. an underdog. 
And see, if, see, Philly, Philly is not an underdog team. I don't believe. You don't think so? No. Not with no. all the trash that. So I would trash they, t- they talk about right. Carson. So he wouldn't. That wouldn't be an answer because he he asked three underdog teams that you think are underdogs that you think will actually do well and make the playoffs. And that's why I'm saying um, I wouldn't say the Eagles because they're really not an underdog team. Okay. I mean, I just a lot of so people I'll, got a lot to I'll say. I'll agree about on the that. Giants and in, in Dallas. My three teams, since ain't nobody else want to say this, my three teams. I got what the you Browns. Mean? I said two. Well, you, I said I'm sorry. two. Ain't nobody I else. Was about to, I was about to do my third one, but you started talking. But that's oh, fine. Yeah, we're letting her finish. Wait, wait, I'll step back. You need to relax, sir. <laughs> yeah, I relax. Let me know when it's my turn. Y'all got, let that, me got that new shirt on. Act like he. Okay, so anyway. Um, <laughs> uh, the third one is well see I guess they're predicted to hmm, it's hard because I want to say the Buffalo Bills but then they're not really an underdog team are they um, are they really an underdog team Ron? They, should be, no. they should be the favorite they, they should be the favorite it was over 500 last year they made the playoffs they should be the favorite to win that. He kept America left, so he down in Tampa Bay. I just really believe that they're going to make the playoffs this year. And um, so I, 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 I'm going to leave him. I'm going to leave them on my list. They'll be my number three. Go ahead, Please. Dennis. No, I thought Jared had something to say. He told me I need to step up. You can back. do yours first. Go ahead. Your show. Your show. You you seem anxious for it. <laughs> this is okay, your show. Your show. Uh, I got my own topic today. I'm in no rush. Uh, first of all, let me. I, I got cut off today. Let me just say this from the beginning. Uh, this is some pre-birthday behavior for me. So let that be known to everybody. If y'all hear something a little crazy, yeah, I said it. So what? First team I'm going to say is the Cleveland Browns. That's the first team I'm going to say. Yes, they're going to win your division. Yes, they're going to beat your Pittsburgh Steelers. And yes, they're going to the AFC Championship game. And you heard it here first. Yeah, I said it. I believe in Baker Mayfield. That's number one. The number two team I got that was in the 500 that I believe can sneak into the playoffs, I'm going to have to say the Chicago Bears is the number two team. That's my number two team that can sneak in. Why? Because of Lil' Kim. We all know who Lil' Kim is. We all know what Lil' Kim does. You got to say more, all right? The number three team that I have sneaking in Please tell the is the Denver Broncos. Oh. The Denver Broncos is the third team I got sneaking in. I believe that they can go out and beat Kansas City and actually be that shocker team. Now, that was my three teams. Uh, pylon to pylon, what you got? All right. My three teams, one, definitely going to start off with the Chargers, with the QB situation. Nobody's sure, and most people are going the negative route with them. They have one of the most stacked rosters, I think, in the league. And if they, they just need, it's health. It all comes down to health with the Chargers, I think. Tyra Taylor, we've seen bring the Buffalo Bills to the playoffs. I think he can bring this Chargers roster to the playoffs. So I'm definitely going Chargers. Um, my second one, I, it's, I, have the, I have the Cardinals, but I don't know how – under the radar they are right now just because of the Hopkins trade. So they've been in the in the spotlight. So I don't know, but that would be my, my next choice. And then I think the Browns. I think the Browns make the playoffs this year. I think we see Baker more poised in the pocket since his big his two big issues, I've said a few times now, were his eagerness to get out of the pocket and his uneagerness, unwillingness to throw the ball away when he needed to. And those were his main issues, I think, last year. I think if he, if he fixes that up, I think he'll – with Jarvis and Odell, I mean, he still threw, threw each of them a 1,000 yards last year. So, if he's on point, I can only imagine what they'll do this year, especially with some new additions they have now. So, stack tight end position now. It's interesting. So, I think they're going to be two. They're going to be one of the teams as well. So, that was the three Chargers, Browns, and – um. Thanks for not, thanks for not and, uh, on that Brown yeah. situation there, good brother. Who you got, Eric? 
I mean, I'm still going to talk about my boys back at home because uh, a lot of people kept my guy out. Um, they say he's not going to make it through the year. Uh, everybody needs to pay attention to Dallas and all these different things. And I'm still counting them as an underdog. So that's my team, Philly. The next team I'm talking about is the quarterback with the old man on it, and that's uh, Phillip Rivers. I think he really going to step up because uh, the coach that left us, he really had them guys Coats. playing, and they didn't even have a quarterback. And mm-hmm. unfortunately, I'm sorry, Miss Sharon, but they might be right about uh, the Browns. I'm sorry. I was going to ride with you in Pittsburgh, but that's on the other side of my state. We don't ride that way. So we definitely going out Cleveland to go see the Hall of Fame game. Y'all can all be wrong. It's okay. okay. <laughs> Rashawn, Rashawn, you got something to say? Or you, uh... Yeah. Look at I'm gonna go baby. with. I'm gonna go with. First off, you know I'm going with the Dallas Cowboys because we are the best team in the NFC East. Well, y'all <laughs> I don't know well, about y'all that. Period. I don't know period. about that, but you're gonna find out this season mm. that Prescott needs to get paid. So just watch the way he plays football. Two, I'm gonna go with the Dolphins. Yes, I said it. The Dolphins. I think the Dolphins are gonna one. make the playoffs. It's a good one. Yeah. A good ride That's a good one. New coaches. It looks like it's going to be something over there. Um, but the last but not least, I'm going to say Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay goes <laughs> to the playoffs. Tampa Bay goes to the playoffs. For some they're reason, not an just... underdog. They're not an underdog, though. Everybody's expecting them to go to the playoffs because Tom Brady, Grady, Brady and Gronk are there. So okay. they wouldn't they wouldn't be an underdog. See, I ran into that same problem too. That's why I'm saying that. Hey Jared, I think we're gonna kick it at the end, Jared. Um, um let me let me hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now I had some difficulty. Let me let me get right into this what thing. What were you right saying here. to me? Sorry. I said we, I'm gonna do it at the end. We're gonna do it at the end. All right, yeah, that's fine. I'm watching the contender okay. series right now anyway. Um <laughs> let me let me do this the right way. We were supposed to start off with our TAP and our CP. That means our trash ass players and certified players. Now, my trash ass <laughs> players, you know, I got on this list, and there's some people on here that ain't gonna like it, but I don't care. It's my list. You don't like it? Watch another show. It's the best show on Tuesday. Yeah, I said it. Okay, anyway. all right. First trash ass player I got is Bryce Harper. That's the first trash play I got. For all the money he getting and leaving them bases loaded against the goddamn Braves, he could have came up with a base hit or something. So I, that's my first trash ass player is Bryce Harper. All right. Wow. Okay. Second trash ass player I got on my list again, is Lonzo Ball. Lonzo Ball is terrible. Okay. He ain't doing enough. He ain't trying to score enough. Maybe if he put in a little bit more effort, New Orleans would have won a little bit more games. They'd still be in the bubble. Yeah, I said it. Third trash-ass player I got is Danny Green. Danny Green, you need to be on the bench. <laughs> Kyle Kuzma, you need to be starting. Yeah, I said it. Yes. Ding, 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 ding. I agree. Definitely right about that one. That's how I feel. That's, that's just you, got, you, you, you got any CPs, the other got- players? I got oh, on. Uh, trash players. They oh, okay. The Who? seven sisters. All of them. What, all, all of them? them. <laughs> Ooh. One what? minute in the toe, then in the ankle. You don't know what you're going to get. So is this any players at all? Trash, yes. The whole oh. team trash. I got some. I got some athletes that are trash. Hey, 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 we gonna that talk baby about baby stuff. <laughs> okay, all right. Baby Anybody song. else got a trash-ass player they want to throw out there? I'll do it one more time. I've said it a million times. Grant Delpit. <laughs> I, I, I got a trash-ass player. You got to explain Grant Delpit. You got to explain it. He can't tackle. He, he forgot how to tackle within a year, and I don't understand it. He missed like 19 tackles last year, and he's highly overrated, and he, by, by some grace of God, won the Thorpe Award. I don't know how over Jeff Akuda. He was like the fifth best DB on the team. 
And I don't know. He's trash. Trash. Very, very trash until he proves me wrong. Okay. Rashawn? Ryan Thomas is my trash ass player. <laughs> oh, that ain't right. That ain't right. To be honest, Dallas Cowboys is my trash player. That ain't right. Y'all still on stealing again? That ain't or, right. No, nah, y'all touching somebody that um, you know, you need to keep your hands to yourself. We don't. We don't condone none of that here on the FCC Airways. <laughs> <laughs> You don't condone. I knew you were gonna come up with the MC. Neither the Rise Up Sports <laughs> family or the Ignorant Thinker podcast. We don't condone any of that. But I would like to get into my certified players, if I could. Certified. Uh, All right. Uh, I don't have no trash. I got some certified. But go ahead. Got some certified players, Michelle. Yep. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna spit out my couple first before go you ahead. go ahead. Go ahead, darling. All right, with your sexy self, baby. How you doing? Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh-huh. these, these three guys right here TJ Warren besides the game he had yesterday has come in this bubble and took full advantage of it I'm going to say that personally TJ Warren has come in this bubble and said I'm ready to ball a lot of people out there saying and don't nobody take this personal a lot of people out there saying Devin Booker is playing with the heart of Kobe Bryant that's what they saying mm-hmm. now, don't nobody take it personal I ain't say he was Kobe. I said they say he's playing with the heart of Kobe Bryant. And Dame no, Dollars I can't handle that. And Dame Dollars is on a mission. Yes, he missed those two free throws, but that was probably the worst thing that could have happened to the NBA. And the three. And the three. And the three. That probably was the worst thing that could have happened to the NBA was when Patrick Beverly and Paul George laughed at him. You don't make fun of certain people, Clippers. That's why bullies is not allowed in the United States. And that's why the Clippers will never go nowhere. But I sure won't. Anybody else got any certified players? I got some certified. Okay. My 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 certified my certified players or athletes right now. We're not watching NFL, so I can't speak on football players right now. There you go. There you go. That's but awesome. um, my certified players are Carmelo Anthony. Okay. Carmelo. Um, Anthony Davis and I don't want to say him. I'm not going to say Devin Booker. I it, I just can't bring myself to say it. Oh, so I'm not going to say you like it. You some Devin Booker. No, but I like the way that Jimmy Butler helped shut down uh, TJ Warren. So I'm going to say Jimmy Butler and I never give Jimmy Butler love. Never. Now, what you say you love about what, ne- what was that you said? I said I'm going to say Jimmy Butler because I love the way that he shut T.J. Warren down if, in their game. I'm going to say this little piece right here. This is a playoff series I can't wait to see right here. There's a couple. I can't wait to see. Here. I can't wait to see it either. This is and, and like I said, I don't, I don't ever give Jimmy Butler that. I don't give Jimmy Butler much props at all, mm. okay? Because he, he annoys me because he's so, he's so widely um, inconsistent, mm. and and he reminds me of what they were saying about Dame Dollar earlier. There, were people, uh, Skip Bayless was saying that Dame doesn't need to be out here talking about the bubble and everything as if he's the face of the NBA when he ain't won nothing. Right? right, and and it kind of remind me of Jimmy Butler because Jimmy Butler thinks he's Jordan or somebody. He really does, and he carries himself that way. Let me ask but you, he's not. Uh, but he's ask, not. Let me ask the panel a question. I don't want everybody to answer at the same time. Sharon, I'm gonna start with you. Jimmy Butler yes, or Paul George? Oh God. Oh. Oh, <laughs> I mean, this is actually painful because I get into these arguments about him and I've actually changed my answer about three times over the past three years. Mm. And as of right now, oh, well. I'm going to have to say PG-13. Okay. Okay. I ain't mad at you for that answer. Anybody else want to answer next? Hey there, yeah. Jimmy Butler Come on, over. or Paul George? 
Give me Paul George, George, man. It's too easy. Give me Jimmy. You you take Jimmy? What? I take Jimmy all day. It's Jimmy, Paul Jimmy George. Oh, hold on, hold on. I don't want everybody talking at the same time. So we got two for Jimmy and two for Paul George. Mm. Hey, Paul George, bro. Are, are y'all serious? Anybody in the comments want to let me know? Jimmy Butler. Who else said who else said Paul George besides me? Uh that was Rashawn. Oh, good. All right. All right, Sean. That was Rashawn. Anybody in the comments want to let me know? Jimmy Butler or Paul George? Let me know. Are there comments? Look, uh, uh, one of your certified players that I seem to like a lot. And we both like this guy a lot. And uh, you know, you called me up and you said you was ready to talk. <clears throat> And I think the world's ready to listen. I want to call this section right here the chocolate girl section. Sharon. Oh my goodness. This is Sharon's chocolate girls moment. Told you this is birthday, this is birthday edition. I'm going crazy tonight. Do what you want, man. Do what you feel. Say it with your chest. Do what you is want. Is it still is it still skinny mellow here or do we have a new mellow right now? Well, I, I call him I call him summertime mellow because Oh yeah, I wouldn't like to play him in the summertime. That's why I call. I've just been hearing people call him. He's on like the skinny mellow phase now. It was like right after hoodie. Mellow. Yeah, he 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 dropped oh. a lot of weight. Yeah, he dropped a lot of weight, and he's he's a little slender now. That was my. So how thing. do you? So Sharon, tell us how you feel about the way Mellow's been treated in his career. Okay, I'm 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 pissed off, man. I'm really pissed off, and and I've been pissed off for a while. I've been pissed off since he was at OKC. I've been mad to the point where it's hard for me to even have discussions about Carmelo because I, I, the way he's been disrespected and mistreated over the past three years, actually. If you want to go back further, he was disrespected when he was with the Knicks, of course, and everybody knows that. But then he goes to OKC. He gets on a team with a coach that don't know what he's doing, doesn't know how to utilize his gifts, can't coach his way out of a paper bag in the NBA, great in college, but not in the NBA, and he's left floundering at OKC. He had moments, but he wasn't he wasn't mellow. Please and so what did true. they do? So what did they do? They looked at what happened with him and looked at him as a problem and sent shipped him to Houston of all places and when he when I heard that he signed I watched the press conference when Melo was talking and he seemed to be okay with going and I'm screaming at the TV no no don't you see what you're doing it's a setup I was saying it from the beginning it's a setup D'Antoni got him to come there promised him pie in the sky and all this stuff said that he was going to be an intricate part of the offense said all this stuff, made all these promises to him that he did not keep. He didn't have any intention in keeping. He got him there just to disgrace him. Payback for when he was in New York. That's what it all was from the beginning. He didn't care about playing, playing with the Houston's money. He didn't care about that. He just wanted to get him back. And Melo, as much as I love him, his business sense, sometimes I question it. And he also is a, Mello is a good dude. And he believes in the goodness of people. He believed this dude, he and this dude had, had reached some type of understanding and put, you know, bad bridges behind him and, and put everything behind him and say, okay, let's go try to get this chip. So he fell for it. Went to Houston and what happened? And everything was made to look like it was all Carmelo's fault. He wasn't playing defense. He was well shit. What nobody nobody on there was playing defense. Who was playing defense? Don't even say James Harden, because everybody knows he doesn't play defense. And so I'm mad because he was taught it to be washed up. People said that he couldn't play anymore. He was out the league and nobody nobody kept talking. People stopped talking about him. You just go sit over there, Carmelo. We're going to come over here. We're going to talk about this dude. We, we got Zion now. We don't need to talk about you. We Zion crazy. Zion, 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 Zion on the bench. Oh, let's just still talk about Zion. But we don't want to talk about one of the greatest shooters to ever play the game. Hall of Famer, first ballot. He will be. We gonna, we're not going to talk about him anymore. He's washed up. He might have just 
just accept the fact that he can't play basketball anymore. But I knew, and I kept saying to people, no, Carmelo is just as good as he was when he left the Knicks. He is still, to me, he was still um, Denver Mello at any time. At a moment's notice, he can be Denver Mello. No, nobody believed me. In walks Portland. He goes to Portland, and now he starts balling in Portland. And everybody wants to say, oh, 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 I'm sorry, Mello. Sorry? I hope you, that picture you got up of him sitting at the table, table for one, I wouldn't have nobody sitting at the table with me. Because if you didn't believe in me then, I don't need you now. Carmelo just need to ball out and forget everybody who did not believe in him. That's where I stand. I'm madder than I, than I sound right now. I could actually talk about this longer because I'm that pissed. But I want to give everybody else a chance to speak. So I'll end it there All before right. I start All cussing. Right. All right. Any, now, does anybody got anything to say about the Mellow situation? You said it all, brother. I think Mello showing everybody he is that dude again. He's showing people, look what y'all missed out on. He's showing people that he might be the, he might get Portland to the championship this year. Is that what you said, Brian? Getting Portland to the championship, huh? The, we always say they need to help. They need that throw. Well, this well, well, well. Look who we have here. Me and Charles Barkley are the only ones that believe the Portland Trailblazers will be in the finals. Well, well, great minds think alike, Charles. You know what I mean? I'm just all I'm going to say to that. Portland's, sorry to tell you L.A. fans this, but Portland's going to beat L.A. Dennis, I'm going to ask you something. In a seven-game series, they're going to beat them. How many times Portland been to the championship? Portland has been to the championship that I know of, that I've seen one time, and I think they went again in the 80s, but I didn't see that. Okay, so don't you think you need experience to get there and win it? You think so? Uh, Yeah. So if two unexperienced teams go to the finals, nobody wins? No, that's not what I'm saying. I just think a person that got more experience that know know how to play – they know how to play with the spotlight get on them. You know what I think? I think you got to want it. And whatever team wants it, I think it's more than want. It. It's, more than, it's, it's more than want to, though. Right. Because here, here, here's the reason why Portland will not make it. They have a weak link, and that weak link is C.J. McCollum. Ooh. Ooh. C.J. No, McCollum. I can't. Donovan, yes. I can't. I can't. Donovan no, Samuels no, is going to Sorry. Get that one. I don't care. No, Donovan, Donovan, no. I, Donovan and I have been back and forth over this mm-hmm. dude. Mm-hmm. And, and I don't care what you say, Sean, or anybody else. Mm-hmm. He is the weak link on the team. And let me how tell so? you why. Let me tell you. I'm going to tell you how. When the lights are bright, like Ron, Ron is talking about, he shrinks. When? Oh, when? He doesn't, when? He doesn't when? shrink in the he doesn't uh, shrink. You gotta let her finish, though. Let, let her finish. Let me, let me finish. He doesn't shrink in the first game. He doesn't shrink in the second game. But when it's critical and when he's really needed the most, that's when he shrinks. I noticed that over the last two seasons. And what ends up happening, you got Dame Dollar, who is who's left to carry the team. Dame is not a carrier. He needs you to step up and do your part. You got to do your part even more so with Dame. Dame is a is a good now. I'm a big Dame Dame Damian Lillard fan. I'm a huge Damian Lillard fan, but I also know what he is and what he's not. Okay, he is not a carrier. He's not a carry the team dude. So when you fall off and don't do what you're supposed to do, I see Sean looking up stats, trying to find stats. Nah, I'm a dispute what she say. I don't really care what the stats say. I'm going by the eye test. The man shrinks. And when things are needed for him to do specific things that really stats can't gauge, he doesn't do them. And that's what I noticed 
And that's what led to him losing those games with Golden State. I watched the games with Golden State. I actually thought they had a chance. They really had a chance to beat them and come out the West. They had a chance. But he shrunk. And when he shrunk, when he, when Dame, Dame um, the third and fourth game, he did not perform well at all. Why? Because he was so exhausted from games one and two, from carrying CJ. No. They're not coming out the West. And he's the reason why. It's did not you, Dame. Did, it's CJ. Did you, did you watch the series versus the Nuggets? I watched all of them. How did they get how did they get past the Nuggets? I don't care how they got past the Nuggets. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you. Right. I'm telling you what I'm telling you. <laughs> And just because they beat the Nuggets doesn't mean that what I'm saying is not true. So you bringing well, up the Nuggets doesn't ha- make any difference to what I'm saying. Because he, if you watch that Nugget series, that wasn't that wasn't no easy series for them. No, it wasn't. CJ, no. and CJ, CJ pushed it to the limit in that series. In that series, yes, he did. In that series, he pushed it to the limit. He was gassed. Just that simple. He was gas. He was just as tired as Damian Lillard was. You you can't be gas. That's why they're not coming out the West. You cannot be gassed and win the and win the championship. You you, can't do it. You just gave Damian Lillard the same excuse. I did not. I said he was. I said that he was tired from. Okay, I gave him the same excuse. And what happened? Did they win? But when CJ had to carry Dame, they won. Did they win? <laughs> when CJ had to carry Dame, they won. <laughs> you don't. You not. Did, did they CJ... win the final? Did they win the Western no. Conference final? That's what I'm asking you. They no, weren't. They weren't in the Western Conference final, Sean. You comparing apples and oranges, and that's not what I'm talking no. about. What I'm saying no, is, no, but he gets. He gets. If you give Dame credit for carrying CJ, but CJ gets no credit for carrying Dame. Okay. Is that the is that the argument you want to have? Is that the point they, you want to win? Because okay. they don't, let they, me give uh, let me let me give let me give CJ some credit for carrying Dang. Okay, they, when um they, Portland played Denver, CJ had to carry Dame. Dame was not performing, and CJ helped them get past Denver. There's his credit. Now, does that change the outcome of the Western Conference final? No, it doesn't. And that's what we're talking about. Who's going to come out the West? And that's what I mean when I say showing up when it counts the most. And the semifinals do not count as much as the Western Conference Finals. And that's my point. And when you're gassed, you have to learn how to perform through being tired. That's okay. how that's how real champions do. Well, I'm glad y'all got that off your chest because when I was talking about Portland going, I and I want to make sure I say this right. Uh, their center Nukovic wasn't there last year because he was injured, right? That's right, he was. That's right. Okay, well he's back this year, fully healthy. He's back. They also have a perimeter scorer in Melo. Yes, they do. Yeah, and uh, I think those two additions is enough to to what's beat. What's going that, on in the middle, though? Wait, to, to what's, beat what's, the LA. I'm gonna ask. What's, what's going? Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. What's going on in the middle? In the middle. In the middle, way. What's going on? What's going on in the middle? In, in the, the paint? paint. In the paint. What's going on in the paint? Enough going on. That, we ain't getting nobody on the Lakers. <sighs> What they gonna do with the Lakers? They got the White House. I said, I said, huh? I, I said, what's going on in the paint? That's all I'm asking. Well, what's I, going on in the paint? Nukovic is pretty good in the paint. Mm. I think, I'm gonna okay. ask I think him and Anthony you, Davis will have a good you, time. Dennis, you cannot say we not worry about the paint when Anthony Davis leads the Lakers in every statical. You right. can't say that, right? And wait a minute, wait a minute. There. But what I can say he's is, what, what I can say there. is though. And I'll take this straight out of Sharon's book. When the light is the brightest, do we see <laughs> Anthony Davis? Everybody on the panel, say something to me. But at the I'm end of the day, no, no, there's no question. Dennis, Dennis, when Dennis, the light Dennis, is the brightest, Dennis, do we Dennis, see Anthony Davis? Right. Dennis, I'm gonna Dennis, take this. I, uh, you're what you just said. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 
You're for completely. Everybody cannot talk at once. Right. I'm gonna let him go. Go ahead. This ain't Anthony Davis on the Pelicans no more. This is Anthony Davis with LeBron James. Are you serious? Okay. This is completely different. The maestro. Okay. This is completely different. He's never, yo, he's never had no player like LeBron before. You right. You right. I'm gonna let I'm gonna let Ryan go because I got something to say. Go ahead. I'm gonna ask you something. Do you really trust White Side? I trust White Side to guard Dwight Howard. <laughs> That's, That's what I trust problem, him for. I, I trust the White Side against the White Howard. I uh, see. I get the same. You don't know what you're gonna get from White Side. I don't so, know what right. I'm getting from the White Howard either. So Why are you even you bringing up the White Howard? Though? That's not you don't issue. need the White Howard to. You just need him to block shots, not to shoot the ball. I don't. I, I don't need Look, White Side a, to shoot the ball. It's a game of matchups, and I think they got Javale McGee starting. Yeah. And um, people talk about Javale McGee, but people need to understand that <laughs> Javale McGee is a valuable piece of that offense, and um, I don't believe White Side can handle Javale McGee, let alone on Dwight Howard. It's not I, even. It's not even whether or not he can handle him or not. Again, you still haven't explained to us how are you going to stop the game plan. You worried about people? Oh, I'm not. I'm not, uh, I'm not. worried about stopping LeBron James. I'm not talking. That's not the game plan. So what's the it's game? You, Anthony, you said you said he got Davis. LeBron James on the scene. It's Anthony Davis. I never said he was going to stop Anthony. I said they was going to have some fun. That's what I said from the beginning. I never said he's going to stop. Did I say he was going to stop Anthony Davis? It's not going to be fun. I said he's going to have some fun. That's what I said. It's, it's not going to be fun. I know who's going to win the game. But I'm just, it's like, what, what happens if when... If you want to ask me who's going to win the game, you can ask me that. I'm just, who's going to win the game? De- you know who's Dennis, gonna, how? There's only, it's only time how for one person, be? and they only got a time for one person. What time is it? What how time? They go- say it with me, How are they going to beat? You is How are they going to beat... The Lakers. How? No, Just tell me how, Dennis. First, not, first thing, bro. let me let me say this. First thing, let's let's make sure Portland get in because Phoenix is hot. Let me get that out of the way first. Let's make sure Portland get in. And when Portland get in, we will come back to this conversation because we'll have a playoff edition on Talk Your Tuesday. But let's make sure Portland get in. I think <laughs> it's three games left. I think. I think it's three yeah. games left. Portland and, got in two games. I and think Phoenix, Phoenix ain't lost a game yet. Yeah, I think Phoenix Phoenix time is coming though. Uh-huh. I believe they, they ain't lost the game they, yet. They got I got. I got. No, they haven't. Respect. They ain't lost the game. They, yet. I gotta give them respect. They are undefeated in the bubble. That's mm-hmm. right. Phoenix got two years. That's why I said I, I didn't never said he was Kobe, but he playing with the heart of Kobe Bryant is what I said. He got the most thirty point games in Phoenix Suns history. Just just clinched that today, playing against the Philadelphia 76ers. Mm. Speaking of 30-point monsters, mm. these are all 30-point monsters that's been in the bubble. Mm. Mm. A lot of people on here were screaming for Luka Donick. There's your Luka Donick. I like the way Luka's playing. Donchick. My fault. Luka Donchick. I like the way Luka's playing. <laughs> but I don't know if Dallas can do it. I love Dallas's coach. I think Dallas's coach is better than Doc Rivers. Um, how can you say that? What? No, you well, well, wait a minute, Ron. How many rings Doc Rivers got? One. How many rings do Dallas? Um, the head coach got from Dallas. One. One. Okay, so. Basically, they even. The no, no, they're, they're not even. Do you remember? Do you remember that Dallas oh. team that won that championship? Yeah, I remember that. You remember that team? Do you remember that Boston team that won that championship? Yes, they was loaded, right? That Boston team was loaded right. by by three by three Hall of Famers on that Boston yeah. team. Right? Look, look, even their bench was loaded. Right. I bench mean, their loaded. bench was I even good. That team. <laughs> right now, on the Dallas team, can you name any of the places they won their championship after? Boston. Right. See how you can remember the Boston players? Yeah, uh, I remember Dirk. Dirk. I remember all that. No, but Dirk and who else? Um Marion. Um John Marion. 
Uh, Jason uh, Kidd. Uh, uh, Jason, Ter- Jason, Jason Terry. Terry. Both Jason. Jason Terry, Jason so, Kidd. Okay, what are you trying to say? That team wasn't as loaded as that Boston team. I don't think Doc Rivers needed to be there to coach that Boston team first. What? I got, I, see, I got one see, better. I, got, I, got one I, I have better a, I have a real problem with that when people say that when when teams are so good that they don't even need to coach. That's bull. I'm sorry. You, you still got a coach. I, I you still got a coach. I said you need, coach. Coach. Even, I you need I that coach. Okay. Well, they needed that coach because they needed something because with those egos and the way that they were. And everybody want to be the man, and you got Paul Pierce on your team. Paul, Paul I'm everything, and I want to be the man all the time. Pierce, no, they needed a coach. They what? had to have a coach. They, they wouldn't have won without a good one. I don't remember them saying that in the press conference. The press conference they had, they asked them uh, who was going to be the man, and they said KG was going to. That's be the- a press conference. Do you know who Paul Pierce is? Have you been watching him since Kansas? <laughs> Hold on, hold on, wait a minute. One of Paul Pierce's best friends is Kevin Garnett. They've been playing together since high school. I don't care. So why wouldn't he adapt to Kevin, Kevin Garnett? Is, uh, uh, this is what I'm trying to Paul say. Paul Pierce. Paul Pierce is one of the most arrogant, self-centered people I have ever seen in sports. He is. Pers- do you know that personally? <laughs> never mind. Never mind. I'm just gonna say, I, if you're trying to win a championship. And you have another two other superstars coming with you. You still gonna be arrogant and cocky, or you still gonna be like, you know, yeah. what? we well, got some special We talking about yes, Come yes, on. because he think he Kobe. He think he Kobe. That's why. Oh, he what what Draymond say? He think he Kobe. He do think he That's Kobe. That's why. I don't. I don't think that he's that. I don't think that he did all that during that that run. That's what I'm gonna say. Okay, I don't well, think he you did think, all that during you, that run. You, you think that. I believe he's arrogant. I believe you when you say he's arrogant. I guess, you, I guess you believe he didn't get arrogant till he went to New Jersey, huh? No, I believe he was arrogant in the beginning. I, I want to say okay, I believe he was arrogant before the stab stab. Remember, we don't, Rondo, promote, we don't promote violence on uh, the FCC network or the <laughs> or the On Point network or or uh, Rise Up at the Ignorant Thinking Podcast. All right, I just want to say that right here. But remember, you got before. to have a coach to deal with Rondo and Ray Allen. Because they were going at each other. Now that is a story that's been heard a lot of different times. Right. So you tell me. Well, in the in the beginning, they were cool. They, they were Before really cool around. at the beginning. But the beginning. Ray, right. Ray Allen felt some type of way. So that all yeah. I was about that. Let me, let me read some of these comments. Well, so, my my point is, my point is, they still needed a good coach. Doc Rivers is not the best coach in the world by any means, but he's not trash. He's not a garbage coach, and I think that he was good enough, and that's what he need. That's what they needed to win. All right. Well, I'm gonna say this. Okay. This is Rick Carlisle. Make sure I'm gonna say his name right. Rick Carlisle. Yeah. Rick Carlisle is better than uh, Doc Rivers. That's what I was saying. I don't believe that. Uh, Melissa said the Lakers consistently put that work in. Doesn't mean that Portland won't win, but you got to be the best in that moment and fight like hell. Dimitri said Boston, 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 Boston. A.U. Dennis. Uh, Kellen said Collins, Whiteside, and Nukovic. Melissa said Lakers most likely won't won't be beat. Sorry, but no. All right. The truth put some respect on Paul's names. Haters. Uh, Derek said, no way. Aaron Gahal, he played for one team, and he brought a championship back to Boston. Oh, please. Uh, Paul I don't want to hear nothing he got to say about no sports team in Boston. Never no sports team in Boston, Boston could do wrong to him. So At him or Derek. Both of, I just, just realized don't that. Even read, just, just don't even read his comments. I swear. Derek, I want to hear from you. believe that, they, uh, that Boston's the best ever. Can't do no Derek wrong. Peaches. That's three of them. Where I got all these Boston fans from, I don't know. Mm-hmm. <coughs> I wish they go away. But they, but they, they coming out the woodwork. That's the only thing I can say. And by the way, I did not compare him to Kobe. I said no, no, he, he, he thought he, he was Kobe. Kobe. Yeah. He, he I didn't say I'm not comparing. Oh, he can't hold Kobe's shoestrings to go in his shoes. So no, I ain't never gonna compare Paul Pierce 
just as just has how I talk to you about some other players, Dennis, in, in the NFL. We can talk all day. We need to do a show strictly on Paul Pierce. I could talk about him for two straight hours and not get tired. About Paul Pierce. Go ahead. Yes. Uh, Ryan, can we get go, back go to the hot topics, Ryan? Okay. I like hot topics. Go ahead, Ryan. Do you think Drew Brees will play at full season? Uh-oh, we're we're Dalton that. We're Dalton. We talking about his team. Where you at, Dalton? My, my, answer, and my answer is no. I don't believe he will. I believe he will be hurt about week six. Mm. And you know who will come in? The backup. Crab. James Winston. What's, Winston. His, what's his name? What's his Jamie name? Winston. Crab Lakes. Crab Lakes. Who's who is that? Who's Jameis Winston? Thirty. I'm a huge. I'm a, I'm a huge. I'm a huge Jameis Winston fan. But, I don't care. I don't care about that thirty for thirty. I don't care nothing about it. Joke all you want. Well, let me let me I say this. Uh, famous dude is famous great. Jameis. Famous Jameis has lost lost a step. Hopefully, he thinks he went to a real QB whisperer to get it back. No, he didn't. But we'll He's find. Better out. than Michael Vick. No, I'm out of here. <laughs> that was over, ladies and gentlemen. I, I, I just said that it. just to mess with y'all. <laughs> I was just kidding. Dang, but, y'all, so y'all take this too seriously. Michael Vick, we love Michael Vick. That's why. Um, Jared, what do you think? I think Jared watching the fight, and I think Eric went to sleep. Um, so we no, gonna go Eric to not the, sleep. Eric not sleep. We're gonna go into the Eric. next. Hold on, here come Eric right now. Yeah, he not sleep. He didn't hit the wrong button though. Well, you yeah. I don't care to. I don't care about Drew Brees, so it don't make me no difference. Uh oh. Okay. Miss Sharon, Miss Sharon, she called it right. He might end up getting hurt. So we I mean, ain't wishing. I ain't wishing nobody to get hurt. I, I'm not. I'm not wishing it. But week six, that's I said he right. might end up getting hurt. I never said that he was going to get hurt. She gonna say I'm not wishing it, but week six, just watch that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just, I just got a feeling it's about week yeah. six he'll be, he'll be injured. I'm not saying yeah. I want him to be. Outside of the one, I don't want to be right injury. that bad. Yeah, outside of the one injury that he did sustain in um San Diego, he's about due for another one. Mm-hmm. Like because at the end of the day, you can't last that long without getting hit. He ain't running from nobody, and all they're doing <laughs> is getting bigger and faster. Okay. All right. But uh, Sean, Rashawn, well, yeah. There you go. Okay. Uh, this player, do the, you think Dallas Cowboys will go to the Super Bowl this season? Oh come on! I'm not. I'm not answering that shit. <laughs> no, answer it. You I'm not answering it. I'm a fucking Cowboys fan. What do you say? Hey, 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 FCC, FCC. I'm sorry, FCC, but come on. I'm a Cowboys fan. What the hell do we say every year? Well, no. Hey, I'm a. I'm going to say. Now, that's true. Now, that's this. the truth. They say it every year. I'm going <laughs> to say this, this, and I'm going to talk just straight analysts. No love for the Eagles. No hate on the Cowboys. Just straight analysts. If <laughs> they fix the back end of their defense, they could be the best team in the NFL. And they Good could. Bet. Fix the back but, end, end of the defense and run the ball when they're supposed to. Well, they got a new coach Jerry now. Come so. in there and do they got to make thing. better decisions. Yeah, they, they got to make all the way they around. They did the coach. But like I like I said about Portland, the same way I say about the Cowboys, you got to want it. Amari Cooper got to stop taking games off. You know what I mean? The Marcus Lawrence got to stop getting lost. You got to stop putting all this blame just on Dak Prescott. I mean, he can't play all 22 positions. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Oh, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Give it to that horse. You give it to the horse in the backfield. My next. Romo, Romo ain't getting no yeah. break. Do you think Chris Paul can take the Thunder to the finals and win it? You said who? Chris Paul. You said Chris Paul? There's a lot, Linda. There's a world that we live in that got a lot of Chris Paul haters. A lot of Chris Paul haters. I, I just want to take this time on a birthday edition to talk your wish 
and say, Chris Paul, you made me a believer. That's all I'm gonna say. But I don't think he's going to no finals. But you made me believe, especially in this bubble. They come in the ball in this bubble too. Once but, again, he get injured at the wrong time. Sound like the seven oh, is good. Good call, Ryan. At the wrong time. What quarterback will have an MVP season? What quarterback oh, will have a Wait a minute. I didn't answer the last question. Oh, she want to answer the Chris Paul oh, yeah. question. Hold on. Yeah. She want to answer the Chris Paul question. Let me get some water. It's <laughs> me too. It's about to get crazy. <laughs> I know I'm about no. to talk. Let me get some water. What I want to know is who thinks that he will lead anybody to the championship? I mean, who, I just. Who, who thinks that? I just. We do not think he will lead the Thunder to the playoffs, but that fin I think they there. So Okay. Maybe if everybody get injured like the war <laughs> You mean all of, all of his opponents get injured? Right. <laughs> well, the chances of that happening uh, but uh, um, uh, are slim to none. But <laughs> so here's my answer. My answer is no. He will not lead the Thunder to the finals. No, he will not. Okay. Because he's you get a discount because be, right because he's Chris Paul, and it's just not going to happen. Okay. Just not. He's one of those players that people love to talk about and talk about how great his handles are and all that wonderful stuff. He's got great specific skills, but when you put them all together into a player, something there's something just missing about him, and that's part of the reason why he's never won a chip. Mm. Part of. Not mm. the only, but part of. If he would have got with Kobe, he would have won one. League didn't want that. You know, I'm not. I'm not necessarily sure about that. I'm positive. I'm not. I don't see I'm, how you can be. Because you gotta. You. You just. I just think about how deadly Kobe Bryant was. I do too. And 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 to know how people elevate when they play with Chris Paul. Eric said the same thing. Yeah. To you know what I'm saying. Kobe off ball, child. I'm going to say something. Wow, just catching and throwing that thing. From, come on, What's dunking on you. I'm catching. Oops. Um, I mean, Derek Fisher. Shit. I mean, yeah. I mean, come on. If we got Steve Nash, dumb old. Let's 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 not front. I'm going to say Derek Fisher was the yeah, best up, point guard he played with. That's it. Yeah. That, I mean, Steve Nash, Steve Nash was young. Smish Parker was a bum. Uh, who else? I'm a bull Smith Parker, man. I love Smith Parker. Well, I'm, 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 a, I'm, a, I'm still going. I'm still, Sean. I'm still going to disagree with you, though, that it would not have been guaranteed that he got a ring if he played with Kobe. And and I'm gonna tell you why. It's not because they're not both great players, because they are. But Chris, there's something about Chris Paul and his personality that gets in the way. Oh my God! As a team, as a as a teammate. And this is coming from his past teammates. This is not just Sharon being a hater. I didn't hate Chris Paul from the beginning. But I don't like him as a person from the things that players have said about playing with him. Okay. And I just, I don't feel like he would have been able to take what Kobe was dishing in terms of his work ethic and what you got to do to win and you got to do this and that. He would not take to that well. He don't want anybody telling him because he's the man what to do. I think he personally has a short man's complex, but that's a whole nother story. And, um, we didn't say that here on Name to Take a Podcast. Does so everybody know that? Child. What? Man, this is a anyway, that's what I think. This. It's a rumor right now that the Lakers betrayed for Chris Paul. It's they too might. late now. Ain't nobody wants. I mean, if they do, okay. It wouldn't be to get the, the banana boat together. It, it wouldn't be the worst mistake they've made. I mean, I, I wouldn't I mean, be shocked by it. 
Lord I, didn't, know I, I, didn't, I didn't want LeBron to come to the Lakers. That's a whole nother show. We can talk Even about that later. There, what, is, what is he going to bring to the table anyway? Chris Paul? He old. Well, Chris Paul is healthy. See me waving at you, Eric. Why? <laughs> she always says she don't never see your face. She do be saying. I know. Be like, hey. Well, I'll be on air sometimes. Um, my next question. What quarterback will have an MVP season? We know that now. <laughs> I got a couple quarterbacks, so I'm going to let everybody else go. Y'all want me to go? Yes, yes, chocolate girl. Chocolate girl. <laughs> chocolate girl. Who gonna have an MV- who gonna have MVP seasons? Quarterback. That's what you're asking? Mm-hmm. That's what we asking. I ain't a quarterback. What's that dude down in uh Texas? The start with a D. Deshaun. Deshaun Watson. Deshaun Watson mm-hmm. is on my list. Deshaun Watson is on my list. I can tell you who's not. Baker Mayfield is not on my list. I can tell you that. <laughs> but Deshaun Watson is on my list. Ben Roethlisberger is on my list. And I got one more. Uh, uh, you said somebody else wasn't on your list earlier. Who you said was wasn't on your list? Oh, Patrick Mahomes is not on my list. I do not believe that he's going to have a good season. That's one thing that this we do. My, you know. That's that's my opinion. They're not going to have a good season this year. Deshaun being it was a third one. I don't remember who it was. If I remember, I'll tell you later. Y'all go ahead. Somebody else go. Hey, Eric, who you got, Eric? Um, Damn, she threw me when she said that. Oh, the reigning well, MVP. <laughs> she did. She definitely threw me when she said that because I was like, damn, she kicked him out of the car quick. Um, Boom! The reigning MVP. <laughs> um, the Million Dollar Man. The billion dollar man down there. Uh, I must definitely throw Dak in there, and I must say Carson Wentz, man. I'm I'm just a Philly um, guy, so I'm gonna always um, bring him um. up. Did he just throw Dak Prescott in there and get mad at me when I mentioned Dak Prescott on stuff? Mm. Is I that did, what he I did? did. I we did. got listen, we this, have record listen, of you. This is, this is out of respect, though. I gotta respect what's in front of me. Like I said, if they run, if they run uh, that horse they got in their backfield and Zeke. And tell Jerry to get out the locker room. They hands down. They going to the Super Bowl. You but can't ignore that. Jerry Jones and Jerry. Like- but if they don't, if they don't, then my man Carson going to get it. Okay. Because Carson already showed he could play with 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 Ben, Joe, and and, and Smo in the backyard. Now you giving them his guys back, and you thought he was throwing he was throwing that ball last year. Man, look. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. I got my third one. I forgot. Go ahead. Go ahead, Eric. I'm, I'm going to go and I'm done. I'm finished. finished. I'm done. Yeah. So who was your three again, Eric? Carson, Jack, and um, old boy from my my homes. City. And my homes. Yep. My third one, my third one was is Cam Newton. Yes, I said it. Cam you know Newton. What? That's the I one. want That's him to. One. I right. want him to get back in this game and prove all y'all haters wrong. Cam Newton. One. As much as I hate the Patriots, I hate I the like Patriots that. and the in the ground they ever walked on. I cannot stand that team. I don't want them <laughs> to ever win nothing ever again. In fact, I want the team disbanded from the league. That's how much I hate the Patriots. But they have Cam Newton, and I really want him to come in this year. And kick everybody's behind and say, "What did y'all say? What? 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 What was that y'all say about me? I'm washed up. I'm washed. Where? Where am I at? That's what I want to hear." They should yeah. put. A, they should put a. Uh, it'll be nice to see a, um, a commercial with him and Melo together. Oh yeah, I, see, I love a good redemption story. Yeah. I do. I, I love do. a good redemption oh. story. Being a writer, like those are the best stories. I like your Cam Newton. Say you pick. can't do something, and you come back, and you just prove everybody wrong, and say kiss my behind in the process. I love it. Okay, I I, I listen. I, I love the Cam Newton pick. Uh, I love the Carson Wentz pick. I love both of those picks. Those are good picks. But I'm just going. You know, I you always like say Deshaun Watson pick. Uh, I like your. Oh, I'm sorry. I like your. And my Ben Roethlisberger. No, 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 no. I don't like your Ben Roethlisberger pick. Um, one thing that I've always prided myself on, I always said that second year quarterbacks have MVP ish uh, seasons. 
There's always one of them second year quarterbacks that blows up as MVP this season. I could go back for y'all a little bit. Derek Carr his second yeah. year, he had yeah. MVP this season. Carson Wentz his second year had MVP this season. Patrick Mahomes his second year won MVP. Lamar Jackson his second year won MVP. Just to give y'all some history, all right? Ben, don't forget Ben. Ben hey, won a Super Bowl. Here the hell we go. Like, all right, he won so, a Super Bowl. He yeah. won a Super Bowl his second season. <sighs> okay, go ahead. Just no credit. No, the, no um, Out of all of the second-year quarterbacks, I'm taking the guy in Washington. Nobody believes in him but me and his mama. That's, that's about it. I'm, I'm <laughs> I I'm believe taking, in him. I'll his mama don't even believe in him. I'm taking Dwayne Haskins. I believe, I believe in Dwayne. Dwayne Haskins is going to have a great season this season. I'm also picking my man Baker Mayfield. I believe Baker Mayfield is going to be a redemption season. Every other year he's going to do good. You'll see. Um, and the other person I'm picking as a second year quarterback is Drew Locke. I believe Drew Locke is another one that can have an MVP in season. But everybody Ooh. else y'all pick, I, I like y'all picks. So it was cool. Who Drew Locke? Who? Drew Locke plays for the uh, Denver yeah. Broncos. I'm like, who is that? Yeah. I didn't even know who that was. <laughs> okay. Uh, my next question do you think the Eagles wide receiver will stay healthy this season? <laughs> or do the Eagles have to shop at Walmart or Tamar again? First off, let me drink some water because he done made me choke. Can I, can I, I'm going to take this one because my, my answer is going to be This is, this is the moment when I be telling y'all, y'all say something crazy and I say drink a cold glass of water. This is that moment. No, you always say... My answer is going to be quick. Stay healthy. You said last year your head coach went to Walmart or Kmart. Uber. Don't forget Uber and Lyft. Uber and Lyft. And got wide receivers. I'm telling so, you. Uh, I'm answer the question. One of the games I went to, the motherfucker parked my car on the way over there. I'm trying mm-hmm. to. Let's see? Hey, 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 hey. FCC. What I tell you about that? FCC. I'm sorry. FCC. What I tell you about that? Remember that conversation we had? What is it? (laughs) But look, look. I believe. I believe that they're going. I believe that the Eagles are really going to have a good, a pretty good year. I believe that their wide receivers are going to stay healthy. I believe that Carson Wentz is going to have stay healthy, and they're going to have a good season. I don't think they're gonna see Walmart and Kmart shopping for wide receivers. I really don't. <laughs> I, think it's, I think you're gonna see a change. You're gonna see a change. That's a good. That's a funny question, though, Ron. I just it just want to let you know that's a funny question. But, but yeah, is, is the, it, I, I believe that they're gonna stay healthy and they're gonna have a good season. Wait, Miss Sharon, look, they shopped at Walmart and uh-huh. Kmart, but they got some good. They must have got some good deals because they still made it to the playoffs. <laughs> right. Yeah, they did, and guess who didn't? The Steelers. <laughs> we didn't make it. <laughs> so we didn't make it. It's another team that's in here. It's the Flying High podcast back there talking all that trash. <laughs> all right. Are they a team? I'm gonna, I'm, it, I'm, I'm gonna summon up this way, team? guys. Okay. I like that, Miss Sam. I like that. What, what kind of bird is it? I'm gonna sum it up to you this way. What bird is it? What kind of bird is that again? I don't remember. Who 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 play in Atlanta? What's the bird called? I don't even know. I know that bird weighs 283 pounds. I know that. 283 pounds. <laughs> the pounds. The Ravens will go to the Super Bowl this year, or will they choke in the playoff again? The Raiders, you said? Yeah, the Ravens. Baltimore, Baltimore. Ravens. Oh, the Ravens. Oh, no, they ain't going to the Super Bowl. I told you. I told you they're not going to the Super Bowl because the Steelers is coming out of the AFC and they're going to the Super Bowl. How many times are you going to ask me this question? No, what? the Ravens are not going to the Super Bowl. Yeah, the Steelers are going to be representing the AFC in the Super up, Bowl. Smith? And they're going to win. Yes. Okay. Steelers, let me let me go get my towel. I'll be right back. You're a real fan because I don't see that happening. If Buffalo do what they're supposed to do, care what, I don't care what you don't see. I'm telling you what's gonna happen. <laughs> Listen, you can see your heart. Oh, Sharon, she was gonna go get her. Oh lord, y'all really got her to go get that. See, towel. Yeah. see uh, it. 
Yeah. See? She went and got that towel. Lord forgive her. Um, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. There's a possibility that the Ravens could go to the Super Bowl. Go now, Colin Cowherd believes that they're going to go 16-0 and win the whole thing. Now, yeah, I, don't, I don't know what drug he's on, and I don't condone no drugs here on uh, the FCC Network uh, or <laughs> On Point or uh, Rise Up or the Ignite Thinker Podcast. We don't condone no drugs around here. But I think Colin Cowherd are you, are you talking about? Has, has mixed some dust uh, with some uh, with some reefer and uh, some of bombing fluid all together. The thing that they're gonna go sixteen and zero. That's all Thanks. I'm saying. And uh, Sharon now has a terrible time. This is the birthday edition of Talk You Tuesday. It just got real, ladies and gentlemen. She was and shout we out. don't allow that on the AC. Shout out to anyway. shout out to all the Steeler fans <laughs> listening Ramona tonight. Guy. We didn't shout out to Ramona Die. Shout out to Ramona Die. Ramona Die. Shout out Ramona. I'm representing girl. She out here representing the girls going wild. Let me girls tell you, my towel, my towel is always nearby, ready for Eric, ready for you. Don't, don't have it ready for me. Lord, no, forget don't have it ready for them. you. Ryan, you got another one for us, Ryan? Yes. Who is a underrated team in the NBA? Yeah, y'all know what I'm gonna say. So I don't know why y'all looking at me. I'm gonna say Portland Trailblazers. There you go, Ricky. There you go, Ricky. Yeah. Mellow. That's because of skinny mellow. That's the only reason why he's gonna be good. They're gonna oh. be good. Because okay. skinny we, mellow. I disagree with the mellow part, but who you got, Eric? I don't care. Damian Lillard has 61 points right now. Hey, what? Ooh. Get him, Dame Dollar. Yeah, sixty-one points with two like two minutes left. I gotta know. How much right? are they winning by? Like two. I don't know. I just got a notification. He I'm ain't watching gonna score eighty-one though. But I'm saying, yeah, right. No, he ain't gonna score sixty-one 81. with two minutes left. He got sixty. Yeah, he he's scoring left. eighty-one. That's just yeah, all three points. I told you, there's a time. Are they? When everybody... Are they? Are they winning the game? That's what I want to know. They better be winning. Score sixty-one. Them are they winning? Put up sixty no. in a loss. That's like a Bernard Bernard King moment, ain't it? Mm-hmm. Oh, Michael Jordan. I remember Jordan first came in the league. He's put up all these points and they would lose. Still. Yeah, lost, yeah, lost to Boston. No, mm-hmm. I got another. Derek said, Derek said Boston. They played against Boston. Wait uh-huh. a minute, wait a minute. Wait. When I got the Boston notification, is not, it said Boston that. Boston is that. not underrated. That the question is, was yeah. underrated. Yeah. When Boston, I got the notification, Boston I said that they were overrated. Tied. It's the Boston Mavs. is not underrated. They're tied know. against tied the Mavs? Games. What is yeah, it was a tie about? game. He said it's a tie game against the man. Yeah, that, that, that's when I got the no, notification. No, 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 it said tie game, and he had sixty-one. Yeah, my net sixty-one, five rebounds and uh, eight assists. Do you think Kevin Garnett should buy the Timberwolves? Hell yeah, they should have. I think so. He should have. Uh, he should have owned it after Flip Saunders died, so we didn't have to deal with this. Uh, Ryan Saunders fiasco. You don't like the coach? And he, he cannot coach, to be honest, Rich. I cannot stand many, him. How many, many reasons he was there is who his daddy was. Uh, I guess so. If you say you can't coach, you can't coach. What do you think, Dennis? This is my this is my home t- state team. So that's why I'm saying that. Uh Dennis Holmes believes that. Dennis, oh Lord, no, she didn't. Dennis Holmes, be- <laughs> Dennis Holmes believes that he should buy. It. <laughs> I think it would be a great idea. Um, there's people that in my inbox that are saying CJ might be right now because he's off. He might be a weak link. I asked the question. Somebody hit me up in my e- inbox and said that I said CJ. That. I said that. Yeah. I said that he was a weak link, and Somebody everybody, just- everybody. Tripping I, like y'all, like I, I said, I didn't trip. I didn't trip. Not you, Dennis, but some people named Sean tripping because mm. I said CJ the weak link. He's a weak link. Where Donovan at? Bring your tail on here. Too. I'll tell you too. I'll tell him too. I don't know where Donovan at, but Donovan ain't up in here. Dame just hit a ridiculous three pointer with a crazy bounce. Uh, let me let me just say this. I'm going to say that I would love to see Kevin Garnett by the Minnesota Timberwolves. 
I mean, he lived there for so long, so he, he knows the in and outs of Minnesota. He, I think it'd be a great idea. Because they is talking about it. Yeah. Or or him I owning the great. Bulls because he's from Chicago area. Right. All right. I, I like that, I like that what Karen said though. Uh, I like Karen. what Karen said. Who's Karen? Sharon. I'm sorry. I like what Sharon said. I was reading something. Somebody oh, calling me Karen. <laughs> uh, I'd have mentioned name of Barbara. Karen now. I'd have mentioned name of Come up to Philly. Oh. I'm gonna come to Philly. Well, come on up here. Calling been... me Karen now. Come on up here. You ain't gonna have a terrible time no more. Come on up here. <laughs> oh no. You gonna walk? Ain't going you know nowhere. where? You gonna walk the over? The towel ain't me, going nowhere. Like I got two said. towels. Don't even play with me. That means the way you gonna need both of them, baby. Let me take it like they don't said before. Play. You gonna you gonna walk over? But you gonna limp back. I don't take no losses. Don't office, play. Sorry. You gonna walk don't over? Don't play. But you gonna limp back. Don't play. I don't, don't take play no losses. I don't take no losses in August. No. All right. No loss. Whatever. You better see me in September. Whatever. But I'll be going to, to November. Do you think the yeah. Super Bowl is fixed? Yes. No. A lot no. of money no. in Vegas. I keep saying that. No. 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 Oh, like I, I think San here, Fran, here. and I think that something. the I think San Fran, and I believe that the Atlanta Falcons are just terrible when it comes to the fourth quarter and closing games. That's yeah. what I believe. And you wonder it's why. I go at you. Yeah, that's right. I was see. I was <laughs> waiting. For my, see, I, I yeah. would always tell you, Ron. Just wait. You wonder why. You, you know what you. That. You know what you know what you remind me of when uh well, more when Stephen when Stephen A. Smith be like the Cowboys. Be like, don't worry about it. Just wait. They are an accident waiting to happen. That's you, Ron. When you be thinking you got me, you are an accident waiting to happen. Dennis, I, I just sit back and drink my water and I wait. Dennis, on. That's all. Look, Look, then it sounded then it sounded like Stephen A. Smith. I got I got the bubble wrap <laughs> for your quarterback right here. Right. He's gonna tell, need it. We five. Tell Maddie water ice that we got uh Georgia hey, water ice I now. told you I ain't taking no Carson Wentz hate up in here. Leave Carson alone. He don't need no oh, bubble wrap. Leave next, him alone. My next question is the Super Bowl is not fixed, by the way. It is yeah, not it fixed. Is. No, it ain't. Who is dude? Who is fixed, this dude? Fixed, fixed how? Fixed how to do what? Who's it dude, fixed for? Right, you? So, who who so was Peyton it fixed Man, for? The last year, Peyton Man and Clay, he won, right? Dude, so, who are you? Who are you? I'm the dude. No, 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 no. See, here <laughs> talking to you. It's you Eric just don't say you're the dude. Come on. That's not Eric Man's up. The dude, who are you? I'm the dude. No, 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 no. What's your name, man? The dude. Right. Dude, um, who you, are you? Or we you won't know who you are at all. Now, either you're going to explain yourself or, or you'll be disappeared. <laughs> one or the other. I'm, I'm going to give you one more chance to explain yourself or nobody will know you. It's the one that I, you guys always hate on New England. All right. Well, what's your name? Derek. Oh, this is Derek. Okay. All right. That's all you had to say the first time. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, welcome, oh welcome this is Derek, Derek here. Or- Lafon, we don't, Derek we, don't hate, we don't hate on you, Derek, but you gotta explain who you are. Uh, Derek Lafon, who got said the Steelers won't like win that, eight Derek. games. Here, <laughs> here on the FCC network and the On Point Network and the Rise of Sports Family and Thing of Podcast, we appreciate everybody that comes on here. So don't All think right. you gotta come on here and hide and somebody gonna say something to you. We're not bullies here. We love everybody. All right. Sounds good. Oh, you yourself. Really? I don't like the Patriots. We beat him twice in the Super Bowl. See my heart. See my heart, Derek. We love. We loving. See the heart. There you go. Thanks. See my. See my brother's a Cowboys fan. I go. can't hate on nobody. My dad's a Cowboys fan. Hate the Patriots fan. though, but there you go. Who the break? Super? I, I'm trying to. I'm, no, wait a minute, Ryan. He's supposed to be explaining how the how the Super Bowl is rigged and, yeah, and why it, and fixed and I mean why. Why? How? Was it fixed the year okay, y'all came back in twenty eight to three? Well, yes, oh, that that was honestly all Patriots right there because they did their job. Oh, oh, that was. Oh, fixed. okay. So let me guess. That was that, fixed though. The year that y'all lost to the Giants and y'all was uh eighteen and zero was fixed, huh? <laughs> no, 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 no. Let me. Yeah, I'm gonna ask on that one right there. I'm gonna ask you this, dude. The let year me. y'all cheated the Raiders, were that fixed? Ooh. Damn, what about right? the, what about the, the phone call by the Saints? Quick! 
the year y'all cheated, the Raiders were their fix. That talk rule was never invented before. Y'all, I, I like, I like Derek. Hold on, he's speaking some truth now. I ain't never. Y'all, y'all, y'all gonna, y'all gonna answer, I just want to answer the question. Was it fixed then? Yeah, I want to know. The people rated. Was it fixed, dude? He said the people want to know. Could have been. Look at the uh, the Saints when they had pass interference call. Just yes or no. You got a point. I don't think that pass interference call got nothing to do with the Saints. The Saints just don't know how to play when the lights are big, like Sharon yeah, said. Besides man. the year that they got the, uh, I won't, I won't they, go there with this. But besides the year that they had the, uh, that they won the Super Bowl because they had the Bounty Gate. Wasn't for Bounty yeah. Gate, Saints wouldn't be champions. Yeah, yeah, I said it, and they don't play when the lights is big. I oh, when it. the Saints come marching in to go to hell home. Yeah, I said it. I said it. <laughs> it if you're going to oh, be that man. team and if Drew Brees is supposed to be that bull, do something. How are you just getting all these garbage yards, but they only garbage yards when they Jameis oh, Winston Lord. and Dak Prescott. So they ain't garbage yards when it's Drew Brees. I said the same thing. All right, since we're hating on the Saints, what about uh, – I don't want to go here, but you guys are making me do it. What happened in 2007 in New Orleans? I don't want to go there, but you guys are making me do it. You talking about the Hurricane Katrina? Uh Are you talking Uh about Katrina? That was was off. How are we going to talk about the Ricky? What are you doing? That was was off. Oh, Oh, man, that was an active (laughs) guy. So you talking about 07 when uh, they lost to Michael Vick? When Michael Vick and them lost? Is that the game you talking about with the blunt and all that? Ricky? Oh. What are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, what are you talking about, Ricky? What? He's a, okay, Katrina happened in 2007. What happened in 2009? They won the Super Bowl. Katrina happened in 2005. And they had that defensive coach. They had a bounty, put a bounty on quarterbacks. Yes, it's called Bounty Geek. That's how they won. Right, so you tell me. If you notice that, they haven't won since. So, what's up, dude? Why you hiding there, dude? Say it again. Why you hiding now, dude? I'm walking. Yeah, Sharon's oh. on Sharon's on video, Trisha. We got Sharon Shout out on to video. Trisha Joy. Shout out to Trisha Shout Joy. Shout out to Trisha Joy. My got girl. The, let me Trisha go to man. Joy. Trisha With the Joy one-on-one got, car chaos. got the best one-on-one car chaos. Yeah. I can't wait to get my T-shirt. So mm-hmm. I can wait around for my one on one. Trisha car Joy. Yeah. Shout my out last to Trisha Joy. Question is who will break Michael Strahan's set record this season? Nobody. That's my answer. Mm. Yeah. Nobody. Anybody else got a guess? What you got over there, Derek? What's the question? Who going to break Michael Strahan's sack record? Uh, TJ Watt. Oh, that's a good answer, though. That's a good T- answer. TJ's a beast. He ain't breaking that record, though. He, he, has, he has the skills enough and the fast feet movement and hand movement to, to beat his record. I, I well, agree. He, he ain't going to do it. fan cheering for the Steelers? I agree. You got to give credit where it's due, Ricky. You got to give credit where it's due, but he ain't breaking the record. Nope. No one is. No one is. Nobody is. I'm I'm gonna pick a guy that I think is gonna break the record, and uh, nobody's gonna believe this, but I'm going with Miles Garrett. Nope, that's who I believe is gonna break. What? The rolling with them Browns. What, what, Twenty-two and or twenty-three. Oh, with the Browns. Uh, I mean, I, I mean, you you from you from you from the Ohio area? Just think area? about area area. Yeah, yeah, you from Ohio? I'm from Ohio. Period. Oh, okay. Not the area. No, she didn't say period. No, she didn't even with a period. No, she didn't. Period. 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 Yes. Um, y'all got a lot good going on this year. You know, you got the draft coming, the NBA All Star game, and then the Browns win the Super Bowl. Things like Browns. that. Can happen. <laughs> Browns are not winning the Super Bowl. All that can happen in the same year. What you smoking? They are not I, I, winning the no Super Bowl. I, I'm not smoking nothing. Let me get that out. The They're way. not. They're not winning the Super Bowl, dog. I done told you already. Okay. That's all right. They're not even winning the division. They're going to win the division. That's an easy one. That's an easy one. And guess what else? Guess what else? 
Miles Garrett ain't breaking no record. No, he's not. Miles Miles uh, Garrett is gonna break a record. You'll see it. He's gonna break uh, it. Not this. Like said, no, his question was this season. This, yeah, season. this season. That was his question. No, this he's season. not. No. He out. For, he out for. Uh, I would. Never mind. I ain't gonna say that. He's he's out. There he's not. He's I was not. gonna say he's out. He's out head hunting, but that's not a good answer right now. So <laughs> he's out the Saxon quarterbacks. Is what I'm, yeah. say. <laughs> I was, I'm just gonna say he's out the Saxon yeah. quarterbacks. That's all I'm gonna say. All right, we got to keep this thing professional here. Okay, Ryan, you got any more questions, Ryan? <laughs> he's, still, he's still laughing. I'm just, I'm just that trying wasn't to. Even, that wasn't even. Funny. That wasn't even funny. Uh, um, I love that I'm on question. Okay, all right. Uh, Jared, where's my guy Jared at? I'm here. All right, Jared, you gave me you gave me something to put up, but I don't think Rick, I Ricky's find here it. too. Yeah, Ricky's here. Let me see if I can just uh. <clears throat> Just go home actually, my there's actually a great fight going on right now. Let me see if I can I'm hurt just hold my you. towel. I'm just going to hold my add, towel through this one. I'm going to add two more guys on that. Uh, this guy could break his record. Hello? Hello. All right. I want to say Lawrence Guy and Juwan Bentley from New England. Oh, how did we know that was coming out? Mm-hmm. All right, ladies and gentlemen, what I would like to do is I would like to introduce y'all to a special segment coming from the Fight for the Mic podcast where they're here to talk about UFC. So we want to give them the floor. Make sure y'all go and listen to the Fight for the Mic podcast. They also talk boxing on there. I'm also on the Fight for the Mic podcast from time to time. So please make sure y'all give it up for Jared, Mullen, Pylon to Pylon, and Ricky acting up Wilms, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. What's going on? I've been here the whole time, in and out. But um, yeah, UFC. Check check the show out. We just did a show today with two of my uh, in person friends, like that I know from my hometown. Uh, it, was, it was a pretty awesome conversation. Talked about top five fighters of all time. Uh, a few other things. We we do a contender series recap, which I'm actually watching right now. There's a great women's fight. Um, yeah, let's talk about uh, UFC 252, Ricky. I, I'll let you go first. Just because I know you have a lot of hot takes always under your belt All right. for UFC, so um, I want to hear what you just have to say. Get, Who's going to win? Yeah, just got to talk a little bit about each fight. All right, for one, we'll, we'll go from bottom or top, uh, bottom to top. Yeah. Okay. In the, fir- in the first one, Sean O'Malley's going to win that just because of his hair color, because he can't pick one. <laughs> um. I want to go with Frankie Edgar. All right. Uh, how do you pronounce that guy's name? I'm going to uh, go with A. a- Magomed Ankalaev. Yeah, he, he was the one that or, fought. Or Ian Kutabala. Right? What is that? And then we're going to go. Then I'm going to go. My big take on here is Junior Santos loses. Junior to say, yeah, it's possible. Then you got the big fight. Just because I don't want to see a tournament or two random people that don't deserve it, I want to see Strike win it. So you want to see Stipe win? Yeah, you've been saying that, that you want to see him win just so because we know Cormier is retiring after this Mm -hmm. fight. So you don't want the prospect of having like two contenders fight for the belt. Instead of having a champ versus unless, unless it's, unless it's uh, Lewis from last week, Derek Lewis, yeah. Um, well, I'll, I'll I'll go through it quick as well. Sean O'Malley, I think the Sugar Show continues. I think he beats Cheeto Vera. Uh, Vera's been he's had a couple slip ups recently. He he's he's tough, but Sean O'Malley, I think, is definitely going to get him. We've we've seen a lot of great boxing from him, and I, I don't think Cheeto Vera is going to handle it too well. Pedro Munoz and Frankie Edgar. This is uh, one of Frankie's newest fights at a, at a new division. Uh, I think it's going to be a very good fight. I do think Pedro Munoz is going to win. 
he's had some great wins recently. He he did lose to uh, Aljo Aljamain Sterling recently, but he's a top contender, so it, it's not like a crazy loss. Frank Edgar's dropped some recent fights. I mean, he's been around forever. He's had the most time in the octagon out of any UFC fighter ever. He's a veteran. He's fought fought the best of the best. So he's always he's always got a puncher's chance. But Pedro Munoz, I think, is going to beat him. Uh, Ankalev versus uh, Kutalaba. Um, I like Ankalev here. He's um, he's well rounded, and I don't know. I'm not sold on Kutalaba. I'm surprised that's the that's not bumped below the other two fights. I would think that would be the opening fight. But Junior DeSantos versus Rosenstrike, I, I do agree with you, actually. I think Rosenstrike is going to win. I think he's still a top prospect, but I, he ran into Francis Ngannou. It happens. He, he's a freak, Francis Ngannou. Striking power is ridiculous, and it happens. We got to see how his chin's going to hold up, though, because that was only a few months ago that he got knocked out, and usually it's like a, it's a long time that they want you to wait after for health reasons of course and then you got Stipe versus Cormier and I do think Cormier is going to win I think if he was a heavyweight his whole career he would have been the best heavyweight of all time for sure like it wouldn't have been a question I think he is better than Stipe in most aspects definitely wrestling and I think he can stand with Stipe we've seen both stand with each other so it's going to be a great trilogy it's going to be one of the top trilogies ever Cormier wins and retired who's going to who do you in your opinion who deserves that spot to go for that I think you do Stipe I think you do Stipe I think he gets a shot again once if, if he loses and I think you give him the Francis and Ganu rematch mm-hmm. you know, see what happens there. like I told you I want people that and then whoever wins the Santos versus Rosenstrike fights Derek Lewis to see who would be the next fighter to All fight right, the right, winner right. of Stipe and Francis and Ganu I got a question about this, uh, uh, what do they call that, Dana White thing. The Contender Series, yeah. Okay. That, the, uh, what the heck's his name? Uh, what the heck was that guy's name that taught in the second fight? Where that uh, little Luis punk- Rodriguez? No, it was tonight's, on tonight's show. It was, oh, uh, tonight's show, the guy who just fought TJ Laramie. Uh, TJ Laramie, the one who won with the stop. Canadian guy. Yeah, he, he won with the TJ Laramie. He won with the stoppage. He uh, he hit him in the ribs, and basically he couldn't breathe, so they had to stop the fight. Okay, but I think he's definitely is, getting is a he, contract. Get another think, shot at it, huh? Or is he done? Done? Does that does that guy get another chance? Or no, I mean that dude was twenty seven and one. That's the thing. This was this is basically the, that was the fight of the night. It was a twenty seven and one fighter. He did that too. I think TJ Laramie is going to be a real problem in the featherweight division already. Well, he's showed a lot of skills. That, what's that way? Does he get another shot or is he done done because of that? No, he's not done done. Definitely not. 27 and 1, and you lose to a great fighter. Like, no, definitely not done. I'm going to talk about that more on the actual show, though. Okay. We do, we'll do the recap every week. But yeah, that's pretty much UFC 252 in a, in a short little bubble there. All right. Since, since I want to I wanna do some of the small fights here, the prelim fights, uh, I think Burns is going to beat. Padilla. Uh, well, how much time do we got? Hold on before you we still got time. Ahead. Go ahead. You got time. All right. Go ahead. Uh, 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 Verna is going to beat Herning. Hernig. Uh, oh, Yoder is going to beat that long one. I don't know how to pronounce it. Viva. Renta Sol- Solos or whatever. I don't know well, what, we what name you're saying, to be people. honest. I don't know. Was okay. he a Renta Sousa? The, Yo- the Ashley Yoder versus Livia. Oh, Ashley Yoder. Yeah, yeah. Ashley Yoder's going to win, I, I believe, that fight. Jim Miller wins because we know what he can Jim, do in the octagon. Jim Miller. I wanna who's say, he fighting again? I know he's a, a prelim uh, headliner. Vinnick Pencil. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah I, th- yeah, I think Jim Miller wins that fight. Um... Chris Dawkins versus Parker. I think Parker Chris Dawkins, wins. I think, wins. I think Chris Dawkins. Since he didn't, uh, since the Brown didn't win last fight, it's going to be TJ Brown versus Danny Sanchez. Danny Sanchez. Yeah, I like Sanchez. And I think Brown wins. And that's I like all Sanchez. Cool. And that was it? Yep. That was the whole card. 
That was the that was, was that for Saturday, the prelims? Yep. All right. That's what I thought. Yeah. There's nothing crazy on that prelim card, but the main card is, is a good card, so Oh, we forgot one by the way. On the main huh? on the main card. Uh Dobson Dotson. Yeah, Josh Dotson. He's he's a veteran. He's been around since the beginning of the weight uh, weight class flyweight. He beat TJ EPO Dillashaw in the Ultimate Fighter finale. Is that everything for UFC? I think I think Dobson wins that one. What's your thoughts on double double digit wins, double digit losses? Hold on, hold on, Ricky. Uh, Derek, want to say something? Derek, say that again. What's your thoughts on uh, Calvin Cater? Um, I, on the show, I we talked about the featherweight division, like as a whole, right now with the whole Zabi and Yair Rodriguez uh, cancellation because of Yair's injury. I think Calvin Cater is a very good fighter in that division, but he's. I, he can't beat Zabit. I don't think they just that was Zabit's last fight, and he just had no answers for him. I think he could, he he just beat Dan Ige, who's a very good uh, fighter, and I don't know. He's got some good fights under his belt. He he he'll be in the in the top ten of the rankings and a contender for a while in that division. Uh, do you have it? Do you think he'll win the whole thing? I don't think I don't see a belt coming for him. Maybe maybe ever. To be honest, it depends what Zabit does because I think Zabit's going to beat uh, Volkanovski, which he should get just get the immediate shot at this point with all the drama that's going on. And then I think Zabit's he can't beat Zabit. I don't. I don't. There's no way I see him ever beating Zabit. So it'll be rough. It'll be a rough unless he switches weight divisions. I, I don't see him getting a belt. Right. Yeah. Is that, is that all the UFC I, questions? I, I got a question. Uh -oh. Yes. Are they are, are they still fighting on the island? Are they? On no, the island? they are going to go back. Like Dana White confirmed, like they're going to keep going back, and because they were just a perfect venue for them, but they stopped uh -huh. fighting like two weeks ago. I fight out. They're in Las Vegas right now. Oh. Yeah. Okay. They do a lot of international Jeez. stuff though, so they're gonna. He said Vegas. they're gonna go back there Vegas. a lot. He's he's buying a house there too. <laughs> <Dana White> <laughs> Uh, he pay, he actually set, set, found one that he likes, but he hasn't got to look at it in person, so he might he hasn't pulled a plug yet on it. But he's buying a house where in, in Abu Dhabi, where oh, the Abu Fight Dhabi. Island was. Okay. Yeah, he liked it that Dhabi. much. That's, that is great. Well, uh, I, mean, I, wonder... I guess so. <laughs> Jem Jemayo should Just be go on by every island. Abu Dhabi. Like, well, really... it technically. Well, it was technically an island, but it wasn't. If you look at it like on the map and like see it, like it, mm -hmm. it was just. One of those, it had like a moat almost around it, like like right. how a castle has a moat. It was something like that. Right. Like it was technically in Abu Dhabi, really, but it okay. technically was an island too. <laughs> so, all right. Well, with that being the case, let me just say this. I want to thank the uh, Fight for the Mic podcast for coming on here and blessing us with the UFC division. Good job, good job, exactly, fellas. Good job. Letting us know exactly what's going on on UFC. But, um, Absolutely. You can find out every week on the show. Since everybody's here, I I just need uh <laughs> I just need everybody's moment. I can answer that one for Ron. It's a twenty eight to three Super Bowl fiasco. <laughs> Ricky's he ain't got them all. Ricky's crazy. <laughs> I know. That's why you guys like me so much. What's wrong with you, Dennis? What you what you doing? You just I'm waiting talking. to hear y'all answers. Ain't nobody say nothing. Answer, yeah. answer the what? Answer the what? Answer. Name an NFL moment that left you feeling like Will Smith when Jay the Pickett. Oh, I didn't hear family. that. I'm sorry. I know I what Ricky it. should be. I didn't hear that that that, that, that week of, that Christmas week. No, uh, I don't a little see while it on back the against the Eagles. A little Christmas miracle, yeah, Michael Vick. Do anybody see this picture on the screen? I, uh -oh. I see it now. I was on a different yeah, tab. That's what I'm right, saying. That's, your, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That should be Ricky's. <laughs> that cold December night. Michael Vick was darting him up. Oh, God. There, a miracle was afoot. And then Deshaun no, Jackson had, finished no. the job on a botch punt. He, oh, that was, he was specifically told not to punt it to him. I'll, get, I'll, give, I'll give you mine. Show. Mine was the uh, 2015 playoffs. 
miracle at the Meadowlands, too. What a day. What a day. Uh, yeah, that that's... you cut the game off though. Uh, you cut the game off though. Uh, pile on, pile on. Oh, absolutely not. I was in what was I in ninth grade? I think I was eighth, ninth grade, and I was at my girlfriend's like because it, it was the week of Christmas, and I was at her um at her grandma's house, and we were all watching the game, and they were all Giants fans, and it was pretty satisfying. So I got one. I got several. I got. But go ahead. I got. I got several. When we drafted Danny Walk, uh, yeah, Danny Watkins. Who's well, real? his is going to be the when the Giants beat him in the Super Bowl in two thousand seven. I was going to. I was going to say the Eagles. I was going to say. I didn't know he was an Eagles fan. I didn't know. The Eagles beat the Patriots. Oh yeah, that was great. And then uh, when Tom Brady just left to Tampa Bay. Oh, okay. That picture of Nick Foles one. holding the ball in the end zone after he caught that pass. Hmm. Burned in my memory. Oh, and Tom Brady Bulls dropping Bulls. his. Oh, when Tom Brady dropped the pass, yeah. No. He said, do. And then Nick Foles said, I got you. I'll show you how it's done. <laughs> Sharon, you said you got one. What you got, Sharon? I, I got one. Uh, Super Bowl. Oh God, I don't even know my Roman numerals anymore. <laughs> anyway, I'm I'm tired, y'all. Super Bowl, um, where um, Seattle lost to New England on the last freaking play of the game because the idiotic idiotic Pete Carroll called a pass play when it's, they everybody know he should have given it to Beast Mode to run it in, and I don't even like Seattle. I don't like the Seahawks, okay? But I show one of them to beat them damn Patriots. And no, they lost. So that's how I was looking afterwards. I was looking like Will Smith right there. Just shook. Oh man. I was shook. I'm on the, I'm on the opposite end of, of thinking on that play. And I, I don't I've I've always said I don't think that was that bad of a play call. I think there was that's a pass interference I, I, first I, I, off. I, there was a pass I've interference. I've heard that point sure. of view before. Yeah, mm-hmm. there was a pass interference for sure, and they just put the wrong person in that role that they – it should have been a different receiver this, going to catch that ball. I mean, that's one of them. But like sure. I said, I have, I have several NFL moments like sure. that. Can I, can I say this, though? And if, if I'm going too many. far, let me know, all right? <laughs> just let me know if I'm going too far because I, I don't want to get into – You're going the too far. No, nah, go ahead. Um, I'll let – do you believe that they didn't give it to Marshawn because they didn't want him to be Super Bowl MVP? No. I mean, he got he got stuffed the play before, if I, if I recall correctly. You don't no, believe he, that was it? No, no, he was. He, he got was a couple asking, good he, plays, he, but then he got he stuffed. A, he oh, everybody can't talk that. at the same time. I, I thought he was asking me. Right, he I said Sharon. Yeah. Oh, I thought we have no. someone sounding names on Zoom. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't believe. No, I I do not believe that. No. I don't believe it's because they wanted Russell Wilson to be the star and they wanted him to get the MVP and they didn't want Marshawn to get it. No, I don't think that that was even in their mind. I think Pete Carroll just made a bad decision. I think he was processing processing it the way Jared was talking about, about the pass interference, all that other stuff. Yeah, but I still believe the wisest decision would have been to give it to Beast Mode, period. I, I, thought the wise, do, I thought the wise decision so. was to do a quarterback sneak. Actually, it, you know what? I think that would have been even one more better. But a bootleg, like if they had a bootleg, they got him. Mm-hmm. Oh, that bootleg would have got him. I just think if either, they put Doug Baldwin on that route, he catches that ball with his arm either running, way, and his, his quickness off the line. I think Baldwin makes that play. I don't either know why way, he wasn't the guy. Either way, ain't no way in hell they were supposed to lose that doggone game. No. They were not supposed to lose that game. Okay. Ron, you mad. ain't got one, Ron. Where yours at? I just said the 28 to 3. Yeah, y'all know you got another one. <laughs> yeah, that one's too obvious, yeah. Ron. No, can, the you, one, can you give me another wait one? Wait a minute. The one year that the 49ers cheated us for the one to the Super Bowl? What year was that? Because we played the um, 49er in the NSC championship. Yeah. What was that? My lord. Oh, over the 
over that must the have been last the year Tony Gonzalez was there. In that 2012? Yeah. Out of the season. And they were holding uh, Wally White, and the referee did not call it? Oh, that's yeah. Cause he's, that's because he's terrible. That's why. Hey, Ricky, you watching still? No, I'm outside. Uh, he missed it. This I, dude I'll just, tell he you, cleaned him. I'll tell you one that uh, that always haunts me as an Eagles fan. Um. <laughs> I'm going to have to say the <laughs> NFC Championship game, the Eagles versus St. Louis Rams, and uh, Donald McNabb threw that interception <laughs> to Aeneas Williams. The that chicken. one, that, uh, that one always haunts me because I was wondering, why is he trying to throw the ball to Freddie Mitchell? Like, I never understood that. Like, why not give it to Chad Lewis? Why are you laughing so hard? <laughs> What about the one he put around? Oh my God, body? because that's Donovan McNabb. That's Nick Donovan Nick McNabb. <laughs> Is that your king? Is that your king? <laughs> that's, that is, that is my king. That is, that's that your is, Donovan McNabb, buddy. That's my Donovan McNabb. I'm, I ride or die with McNabb. He had the mm. worst, worst wide receiving core on any wide Oh, Lord. You can't say that because back when Favre was playing for the Vikings, he made Greg Lewis like a, look like a superstar. My man, he had – don't forget he had Sidney Rice over there. Stop. Stop. But it was Greg Lewis that won that game for the Vikings over the 49ers week two. Yeah, don't, ain't nobody care. I'm tired watch of talking it. about watch that, game, tape, that, that game. That game lost me a lot of money. I'm tired of talking about that game. I watched that game. I remember it. The other one that, that got me like that is Rondé Barber running down Broad Street and nobody touched him. I just <laughs> I just couldn't understand it. Rondé Barber caught that interception from him. And the bad thing about it was I could see if uh, Antonio Freeman would at least went for the ball. This Waka Flocka just fell. I said, like, I'll be damn. But what started the game off that pissed me off was we was up 7 nothing early Dude Stanley walked right in the end zone, and somebody poked Warren Sapp in the eye, and he left for a minute. I said, we got this, baby. I was hyped. I was like, we got him. They can't beat us in the cold weather. We got him. I ain't going to lie to you, Ryan. I'm going to tell it to you all the truth. Everybody on this panel, it wasn't but 15 minutes later. That goddamn Joe Juravicious caught that pass on the <laughs> Bishop and ran up goddamn Broad Street like it was his business. I fucking cried. I cried. I was to cry. <laughs> And to this day, I hate Blaine Bishop. I'm telling you. It's just the moments of being. Well, mine would have another one would be Kevin Dyson, that one yard short in the Super Bowl for the Titans. Because they could have have gave uh, Aaron McNair a Super Bowl before he died. That was a a great game, though. I had money on the game between the Raiders and the Patriots. I had $500 on the Raiders. You was looking good to that tuck rule giver. And that's why I hate the Raiders and the Patriots. Yeah. I thought Rich Gannon was pretty cool. I like Rich Gannon. Even though he had three number one wide receivers, but I like Rich Gannon. Yeah. I give it up for that defense that they had. They yeah. had they had a nice old man defense over there. They yeah. had that that season right there. I was like, yeah, they going to the Super Bowl. Mm-mm. Red has Red has been haunted ever since. Uh, another Eagles moment that get me when we played the Arizona Cardinals, <laughs> and, and that goddamn La- and that goddamn Larry Fitzgerald did what he do best. Had three touchdowns in the first half on us. I would say the uh, one year that Cleveland won that first game. They only won one game throughout the whole season. I think it was like two years ago or something like that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! I know what you're talking about because they went uh thirty-one and one when they had what you call him as a coach. So y'all just going to ignore the one when we lost to Tampa Bay? I said, did you not hear me say Rondé Barber and Joe Jerry Vicious? You ain't hear me crying about them running down Broad Street. Where was you yeah. at, Eric? No, I didn't yeah, hear you cry about anything. I yeah, he said that. Cry about everything. Yeah, he said that. That only hurt one me. I, the only I one I did like say Rondé was Barber. only one I didn't say was the Carolina Panthers one because we wasn't prepared for that. Them Carolina Panthers came in and beat us up for real. I would say uh, when 
Drew Bledsoe lost his job to uh, Tom Brady. He had that Will Smith face. Yeah, he had it. <laughs> and I think he – and th- that wasn't the moment when he had it when he got injured. The moment he had is when he beat the Pittsburgh Steelers and swore he was going to start in the Super Bowl the next two weeks, and they told him the time Brady was starting the Super Bowl. That's when he had the face. He was like, fuck it, I'm done. I'm going to Buffalo. <laughs> Man. But um, we got about and four to be minutes honest, left. Playing in Buffalo is worse than playing for New England back then. Some Buffalo fans are pretty crazy and chaotic and stuff. I do give him credit, though, with the whole tables and stuff. I think best fans are uh, Bill Mafia fans. Oh, you must be saying that you're trying to be the mayor of Buffalo. No, nah, I'm not the mayor of Buffalo. <laughs> hey Dennis, my question is why would anybody want to be the mayor of Buffalo? Yeah, that's a good question. Uh right, listen, but I didn't say that. Let's get that out of the way. But listen, I, I want to thank I want to thank my panel for coming out today. Uh Rashawn Jackson, um, who's actually not here right now. I want to thank Sharon Chocolate Girl Mullen. All right. I would like to thank Jared Muller which I didn't know that they sound so much alike at the time. Uh, yeah, like I didn't think, realize it so much. I would like to thank Ricky First Williams for getting his Wi-Fi together. We would also we like could. to thank Derek <laughs> we for could. coming on the show and being, you know, showing us so much love. Like I said, there's no hate here, Derek. We don't, we really don't care about your team. There's no hate. I want to thank my man Eric Winters for coming on here and showing so much love as well. Uh, Devon, the professional Stanfield, for coming in and doing what he does best. And my co-host... He always being late. Yeah, that's what he does best. And my co-host, Ryan Thomas. Where'd Ryan go? Oh, right there. there you go. Um, mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> <laughs> that is his famous line. That is his famous mm-hmm. line. That's his famous line. Mm-hmm. He got everything but the hand on the hip. That's all he needs. <laughs> Most definitely. Um, For him to say, listen, Linda. Listen, Linda. This is Tokyo Wish Tuesday. God bless. Good night. Chicks are painting pretty ass lips. For them trap boys out doubling up on bricks. For positions like.